Hi everybody, Lisa Walker here. Um, I am doing another Lessons with Lisa. Uh, and I actually have, I forgot that I have this book here that <coughs> was given to me from uh, a girl that, well, I think I mentioned her before, Krista. Um, and she also, she's the one who kind of taught me about essential oils. And um, she's she's pretty darn awesome, if I so so myself. So um, anyway, I was looking up online like some different things about essential oils, and I was like, oh, I forgot I have this little book here. So this is perfect for lessons with Lisa. I'm obviously not going to go through this whole book today, but I just want to go over the the first part, which is about essential oils and the three different ways that you can use them. So I shall read to you guys again. Uh, essential oils are the natural es extracts of the life protecting fluids of natural vegetation. Plants develop their own protection against the pathogens in their environment, which is stored as an oil. The oils are most commonly extracted from the plant material through the through steam distillation. Hi. Um, depending on the plant, this can be from the flower, the leaves, the rind, the resin, the bark, or the roots of the plant. The oils are extracted in a highly concentrated form and can be used in a number of ways to protect and aid the health. So, oh, me too, girl. I'm just now learning how wonderful essential oils are. I am actually trying to learn how to convert my pharmaceutical over-the-counter stuff into um, essential oils. So, um, so the next little thing says, many of the natural oils have some of the strongest antibacterial, antiviral, antifungal properties found, in, found today. In addition, many have aromic properties, aromatheric properties, that work with the human limbic system to stimulate powerful calming and balancing responses. Herbs like ginger have long been used to soothe the digestive system. Oils of the natural plants provide benefits in a concentrated, measurable, and I'm just crying, sorry about that, <laughs> an easily accessible form. Aromatherapy is a common term used for the application of essential oils for health benefits. Individual oils are usually identified by the name of the plant they come from. Makes sense, that would be easy, right? Some combine a number of the oils together to enhance the benefits, which are commonly called blends. Now for me, I, they do talk about um, making your own blends, and I know that there are carrier oils like grapeseed and coconut, things like that, but when you go through, um, a reputable company it's kind of nice when they've done the work for you and they've created the perfect um, blend and all you have to do is is rub it on and follow the directions because I'm for me I'm all about easy um, so the next little section is how to use them now quickly there are three different ways you can inhale them you can apply them topically and you can take them internally so um, and with that you know, whoever you're purchasing them from, they should be able to give you um, the proper usage and dosage as far as like, you know, take a certain amount of drops, hold it under your tongue, you know, then you can swallow or if you need to, most of the time if you're getting them directly through a distributor, they're already set up that you can put them on topically. For instance, they'll come in a container that has like a rolly ball so that you can um, apply it to where they say. Sometimes it's the soles of your feet, um, sometimes it's the forehead or your neck, um, different body parts like that. Um, and then there are some that, you know, you can just inhale right out of the bottle or you can put them in a diffuser, which to me has been like the number one way to, to do it easily. So it makes a room smell good, plus it helps with um, the mindset that you're trying to um, quit crying <laughs> the mindset that you're trying to <coughs> work with like the calm and the focus things like that so um, 
Let me see here if I can just give you the fast model. It's a cute little book and I should have like highlighted in it like I do my other little cheat sheet, but I didn't. So I'm gonna to try to read through it real quick. Um, many conditions such as a cut, a bruise, a headache. Uh, you can use the oils, yada yada. If it's an antibiotic oil, you can use them on a cut. Uh, peppermint oils for headaches. Other conditions may not be as straightforward and the experiences of others can give you great insight. Um, so I guess it's, you know, basically what that amounts to, that's basically in this first paragraph here. But I think what it amounts to is like, everybody's body chemistry is different, right? So if just because somebody says, um, Excedrin migraine works for me, it doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to work for Susan down the street. So, um, essential oils would be the same way. So, my suggestion is to consult with somebody that you know and tell them what um, is ailing you and see if their particular product line would help. And now that we have Google at our fingertips, you can even you know, Google, um, you know, upset stomach with, you know, essential oils or however you want to word it. And then it'll give you a list of different things that you can use. Like we have a digest formula. Um, so it's already got the blend set up that will help with, with stomach digestion. So, and again, I, I'm pretty sure from what I read earlier in the book that every company kind of has their own blend that's for common uses so if it is digestion you know each company will have a different blend name but the ingredients are pretty much the same so my big thing you know my big takeaway for you guys is to always know where you're getting it from like you can't just hop on Amazon and go like, oh my God, this oil is only 10 bucks, Yahoo. It could be a lot more dangerous for you to take something, especially if you're taking it internally, if it's not safe, or it just simply might not work for you because it has been broken down um, and diluted to where it's not even useful. So um, so keep that in mind if you're you know looking to go with something a little bit more herbal or organic rather than this pharmaceutical stuff. Because listen guys, especially with this pandemic nonsense going around, I have found that <clears throat> you are gonna always get conflicting information, right? So one of the big things right now is like, Dr. Fauci is in on it because him and Bill Gates can make a gazillion dollars if they come up with a vaccine, blah, blah, blah. Well, guess what? If you can find an herbal remedy, remedy now I'm not saying that you're gonna find an herb, herbal remedy for COVID, but what I am saying is that think about that across the board. Like who benefits? It's the corporations. It's, it's the pharmaceutical guys that are benefiting and we don't even know what we're putting in our bodies pretty much where this is just it's simple. You know what it is. Just like wine. You know what kind of grapes you're drinking, right? <laughs> It's it's organic. It's it's something that you know that you're not putting some kind of a poison in your system. So um, so basically, what I'm saying is is do your homework, and if it's something that is really um, important to you, then you'll find a way to take care of yourself in a in a more healthy version. Let's say. So let's see here if there's anything else in this little zone. Mm 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 course it says to experiment because everybody's different I just said that uh, tsh, tsh, tsh. the way you apply them okay that's that next little part so inhalation and this is all I'll say I'll say the three quickly what they're talking about inhalation obviously is vapors so you can um, like I just showed you sniff it right out of the bottle you can put it in a diffuser which is also very nice um, and obviously that affects the brain, right? So it affects your mood, your emotions, the alertness. Um, and apparently that's the central part of your brain. Again, I'm not Bill Nye the science guy, I'm just reading that. Um, but it also allows antibacterial, antifungal, and antiviral properties of the oils to be delivered directly into the respiratory organs. So I'm thinking like if you have like chest congestion or whatever, that would be a great way to get that in is to, to inhale it. Um, 
topical, obviously, that is to uh, put physically on the body. And I believe that most of the time, you wanna hit the point that's actually, you know, um, ailing you. So like if you have a muscle cramp on your leg, you're gonna to wanna to put it right over that. And <clears throat> they usually are um, mixed with a carrier just so that it's not, because regular oils are very potent. So um, I suggest definitely following the um, recommendations of your particular distributor. And then internal, you can help, let's see, high quality oils, which obviously what we talked about earlier, you don't wanna buy crapola on Amazon and you know I, I love Amazon, but um, I recommend going through like, you know, a good resource to get your oils. Um, but you can take it for orally, for gastro, gastrointestinal issues, um, Again, it says taking under the tongue. You can put it in a tea um, or add it to water or juice. So um, if you're going to put it on topically, I suggest putting it on just like a little bitty spot to make sure, especially if you have sensitive skin. So you don't want to have any kind of breakout um, or irritation. And also be very careful with using it with kids. So a lot of times, like I know for one, with the company that I represent, there are some things where we have a kid's line. Um, so we have the adult version and the kid's version. And I'm assuming that it's not as potent so that their little bodies can take it in safely. Um, but again, with anything, whether it be on your pets or yourself, your children, you always want to make sure you're following the company's guidelines on how they recommend that you use it and you want to um, check with your physician especially if you have any underlying health issues so that's it for my lesson today and we only went through the first couple pages so i have all kinds of insights to share with you guys later and i probably won't come to you every single day um oh yeah i want to tell you guys so, um, you know how I was doing my, my uh, product spotlights and we had to do them for 20, 20 days, I think it was, and I did my 20 yesterday? Well, <clears throat> there was only me and one other girl that, that qualified for first place, and we decided to split the winnings. So, um, Rebecca and myself came in first place and we split the pot, which was awesome. And then there was a couple second and third place winners and they got some marketing materials, I believe. So um, mm. I just want to, you know, let you guys know that I appreciate you watching and <coughs> supporting me. And um, that was very excited that I came in first place. So anyway, I hope everybody has a great day. Ninja's getting antsy over here. It's probably time for a W-A-L-K. Can't, it's just like a little kid, you know, you can't, you can't say the word because then they go berserk and I don't even have my tennis shoes on yet. So, um, and it's a little chilly for me. I'm kind of a cold weather wuss. I'm supposed to get up to 61 today and I thought it was going to be sunny, but it's kind of like, eh, not very sunny. And if the wind's brew brewing, which it doesn't look like it's too bad. But anyway, I'm like, I like it to be at least 75. That's like, you know, and, and 80, 85 is kind of my jam. <laughs> That's where I prefer it to be. So, so anyway, we'll see. I might have to layer up and take this kiddo out. So I hope everybody has a great day. If there's anything specific that you want me to um, find out for you guys through with essential oils or a particular oil or more about the blends, blah, 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 whatever, just let me know. And you can always just shoot me a private message too if you want some more information. But just trying to keep it informational for you guys and helpful because nobody wants to be like, buy my stuff, join my team, buy my stuff, join my team. I don't want that, so I don't want to do that to you guys, and I hope that you see that that's not what I'm doing, and I appreciate you all. So, peace out. <laughs> I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.